Hi, everybody. This is Jason Hour from Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie If You may also know me as the Hour of Power. Nobody knows you as the Hour of Power. Everybody knows you as the free. T- <laughs> they know you as the free T-shirt guy. I am a little known for the free T-shirt fetish. What T-shirt are you wearing today? Today I'm wearing a shirt that says I might rub off on you, and there's a picture of uh, some stubbly testicles kind of hanging off the words, and. It's kind of a funny, I like it. It's a good shirt. There's like a chance you around. might rub off on somebody, too. But I do it's probably rub off late. on people. I, I think often, uh, am I that guy, the bad influence? So where can people get these shirts? If you go to skanktees.com, S-K-A-N-K-T-E-E-S.com, you can uh, get a T-shirt or a hoodie. You can also you know, check out all the other fun stuff there. It's a little dirty and a lot of fun. Skanktees.com. Thank you, guys. Yeah, check out skanktees.com. Also, donations. Uh, we are still taking donations. You guys have been great help. If you want to donate, go to JimAndEddie.com. It's very simple. There's packages. There's like five packages. Just click one. You donate anywhere from like 25. You get a poster. 50. You get uh, a T-shirt. Uh, 100. You get like DVDs uh, and T-shirts and posters. And 250. You get a shout out on the show. 500. Jason. All the shit and the shout out. 500 Jason writes a song about you and all the other stuff and a thousand you get to come hang out at the show which we have done and Mike White who was here can can attest that it was a fucking great time it ended up being two days and it was a good time um, if you want to we are taking advertisers uh, so we have a we have a chick that sells advertising uh, Monte Carlo is our ad sales girl if you guys want to put an ad on the show you're a fan of the show and you sell something whatever you want to sell Give us, uh, send us an email, Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. You never know. We might be able to find something for you. Put ads. We've done it with Skank Tees. We've done it with adamandeve.com. Uh, so uh, just uh, let us know and uh, send us an email. Uh, and, uh, you know, next week we're going to do the call-ins again. So uh, listen for that. And, again, that's Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. You can always find us on our website, Jim and Eddie Talk Shit.com. Jim, where are you going to be? Uh, the Belly Up Tavern in Salona Beach. I haven't got that on my webpage yet. That's uh, that's down in uh, San Diego. I'm going to come doing down that. for that show. Are you? I like San Diego. I'm going to come there down for There you go. That. Well, Eddie will be there as well. Yeah. Uh, the Club Nokia gig is on November the 18th, and I will be doing The Grove in Anaheim on December 30th. Uh, and you can find me. I'll be at the Funny Bone in Dayton, Ohio, November 3rd to 6th. I've got my Australia tour. Some of the shows are already sold out. Uh, November 21st to 26th. That's going to be in Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, and Sydney. Uh, go to ticketsalist.com.au to get tickets. And then I'm in Marco Island at uh, Off the Hook. Off the Hook Comedy Club. Yeah, Off the Hook. The <laughs> Come for the food, yeah. stay for the comedy. <laughs> Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless, oh! Hey, welcome to Talking Shit. This is Eddie F. We're at the Rape Cottage. This is a continuation from the last episode. Jim is like a child. I can't you, wait to. What's happening is we continued from the last episode. Our guest is Ben Glebe. Uh, Jim Jeffries is with me on the couch, and they are fucking acting like you're like you're like a rapist. I want to win this. At a, a, a I am going to scarf this thing down in about 17 seconds. Okay, Jason went out to Subway, got two sandwiches. Ooh. Ben and Jim say that they can eat quicker than each other. It was a they fucking got into an eating contest. We're starting this episode. I don't Put know how funny it's going to be. Sandwich. Slow down, Jim. Okay, and we're going to see. I'm going to start the timer. I shouldn't have gotten onions. There's too many onions. Okay, what was so I we've got a timer a here. Mistake. And uh, what, what are the sandwiches you're eating, guys? Subway melts. Uh, that's Subway that's melts. ham, turkey, and oh, yeah. salami with Whole cheese. Nine. I've got I've got olives, onions, mayonnaise, lettuce. You have I have lettuce. Uh, oh, there's bacon on this. Ton well. of mustard, ton of lettuce, oil and vinegar, salt and pepper. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so before we start, everyone took bets. Um, I I bet on Ben. Far side bet on Jim. Ray room, bet on room to breathe. Ray. Who'd you bet on? I got Jim. G- uh, Ernie bet on Jim. Neil, who are you voting on? Neil, the tattoo artist. Right here. He, okay, yeah. he's got Ben Glebe. And we're yeah. all betting one dollar. Chris, who do you have? Ben Glebe, yeah. Lindsay. Ten dollars, Jim Jeffries. Ten Jason, dollars. what do you got? You're only gonna bet. Yeah, you, Jim. Thanks, buddy. And Jason's got you. You don't have a fucking rec- dollar. <laughs> you can't about, bet. We told him. He has the change. He has the change. Yeah, give subway. me my fucking change from the subway, you fat cunt. And right. Can I just say for the On record? On your mark. Wait, wait, wait. For the record, I'm at a disadvantage because I have a naked, bleeding, overweight man <laughs> holding my microphone. I, I, I have Lindsay. Very okay. similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not similar at all. Fatties to your marks. I'm being nervous. I'm so excited. Get gluttonous and go. Woo! 
Okay, Jim is doing a good job shoving it. Ooh, he eats with his fingers. He's shoving it in. He's doing good. I think he's doing better than Ben. You need some water. You got to wet it first. Ben loaded up with lettuce, which I think was a bad idea. I think a really bad idea. It's extra water. Jesus Jim's Christ. head's shaking Jim while he's really doing it. Jim is really ahead right now. Oh, Sorry, my ben. God. Jim is an animal. Jim's eating the, it's like it's a cock after a show and no one sees him in the bathroom. Do you even taste that shit, Jim? Mm. Oh, he my God. It. Why did I bet on Ben? No, I totally put my money in the wrong place. Ben, the lettuce. I would I would take some of that lettuce yeah, off. Yeah, but the lettuce is water, Eddie. You should think you chew it. It's water. It's mm. it's easier to get down. Ooh, but Jim, Jim. I've never seen anything Jim like this. Jim is almost through his first <laughs> Six inches. Duke. Ben, we like you a lot, but he's about three Duke, inches through. Duke, Duke just walked up to Jim like I've never seen anyone eat like this. And he's, oh, Jim is halfway through almost. He, one Eddie more bite Smith. and he's halfway through. I'm the only thing I can think of is I'm that Jim, of Jim. Might, Jim might get sick after no, this. No, he'll be good. I've seen him. And, and Ben, <laughs> he's making really creepy faces. It's fucking good, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good time, though. Yeah. Jim, this bite, six inches through. Jim six is six inches, inches at 109. Through. 109, Jim has finished Ben's six inches. Ben's about three. No I offense. I cannot savor it. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Go, Ben. Go. Jim is Just on his first bite. Chew, chew, chew. Did, Use your jaw. Use your jaw. Do you see the look in Jim's eye? That's all the difference. It's the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Jim has the eye of the tiger. Jim is... Jim is like bouncing up and down like an autistic child. No, it's great. <laughs> Ben's like that guy in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Right on this thing. Stop on. talking and eat. <laughs> Don't let me down. Eat all that non-kosher food. I bet $10 food. on Jim. So what does that come back to? No, you bet a dollar. We no, all I bet said, a dollar. He heard me say 10. He heard me say 10. <laughs> Jim's making Raymond noises now. Yeah, Jim like is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting this, Chris? Um, Can Subway get mad at us? Yeah, hopefully. Look at his, his autistic twitching. We, well, we could get Adam and Eve and we could eat dildos. Uh, Jim is about halfway through the second half. He Jim is killing this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ben, ben is ben, finishing ben his, first finished finished his first six Jim's inches. Jim's almost done with his second. 82, 82. Ben, you're letting me down after all I talked about you. Jim and, is in the game. He's fucking Rocky right Okay, now. Ben has just finished his first half at 2.20. He's a minute and 10 seconds behind Jim. Dun -dun -dun Jim's in the zone. Dun -dun -dun he is bouncing dun -dun like a fucking autistic dun -dun -dun kid. Dun -dun. Oh, my God. He, Jim, he, is, uh, Jim is about to finish his Jim's his humming to himself to block out everything. Foot long. <laughs> $20 foot up. long. This is a... Less than a three minute. He's done yeah. this in less than three minutes. Jim is one more bite. He's, got to, He's got to swallow. He's got to swallow. He's got it all in okay. his mouth. How long? He's got to swallow everything. Oh. 251, 252. Can Rain he man, break can three? Can, can he be three? Come on, Jim. He's about to swallow. He's about to swallow. 259, three minutes. Three. He's almost done. Ben, you get destroyed. He's going to get 315. Jim is last bites, last chewing. It's almost done. Mm. 313. Ben's I'm making horrible. He is catching yeah, it. Yeah, done. 315. Yeah. 315. Wow. I said 315. Uh, Jim was 317. Ah, oh, bullshit. 315. Keep going, Ben. You're not done. The clock's still going. Keep going, Ben. Keep Come on. Going. Time's going to stand. You get the second place trophy. We're taking the bacon out. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he just had to leave the Jewish faith. Oh, my God. My jaw hurts. It bacon. should. You can't it shovel bacon down. It's a heart attack. Dude. Oh, I was good, man. Jim, that was phenomenal. And he's good so at pinball. Right we could get you in like the Coney Island hot dog contest. Was that fast? 317, you ate a whole foot long. That's quick. Jason's so jealous. It takes now, longer to make one. If anyone thinks they can break that record, <laughs> please send a video link of yourselves eating a foot long and faster than 317. Ben is still going. Oh, I think I could have done faster if Ben was competitive. Was it, was it painful? Ben was My just jaw's hungry. Ready. It's okay. <laughs> the jaw would be the hard part. Are you afraid of getting lockjaw? What would you do if you got lockjaw? That'd be the most. Uh, I can't think of I anything worse than already. lockjaw. <laughs> anything worse? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Before this, you were confident though. Jim's mm. still you're, shaking. You were confident. Sandwich not in my wheelhouse makes it harder. Now we'll do volume for the next one. Volume's a different game. Chili. Right. Yeah. Why chili, Jason? In three Who measures chili? We're doing cups no, of chili. No. Chili's not <laughs> a discernible amount. Ben, you let me down. I think, of beans. I think I could out eat you. I just had an olive and a bit of lettuce on my lap, and I picked it up and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're at 448. 
Uh, we all have to pay up. Who all bet on fucking I Jim? I bet ten dollars on Jim Jeffries. You can't, so I nobody. Won like a we said the the thing was everybody was betting a dollar. So I does that mean like that I get the money for everyone? Who, everyone who bet every, against does me. Does everybody see this? Jason's actually Can won I money. Bet Jason, Jason, what? Um, no, 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 no. The the winners pay, or the losers pay the winners. We all bet you weren't. Oh, all right. But there I you bet go. you won. Oh no, yeah. So, I so no. Who won? I I pay. <laughs> You're a winner. You're a winner. But I won. All right, then here's a dollar. But I don't want a dollar. I want ten. Shut the fuck up, Lindsay. <laughs> I want mouse. I want mouse. <laughs> He ripped it up in my face. <laughs> he ripped it right in half, ladies and gentlemen. That one's an easy one to put together, though, Lindsay. I'd scamp on the ground for that. Yeah, get it. Not, no. There is so much ripped up money on the floor. <laughs> Benny, are you still going at he's the speed you want? He's <laughs> still going. He's savoring now. He's you got to admit, I've right got, got speed. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> 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 my God. Jim, you are good at comedy, pinball, and eating. Eating really fast. <laughs> I'm bad at I'm bad at being a boyfriend <laughs> and health and exercise. Are you done yet, Ben? Mm-hmm. You're making noises like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think I could I think I could beat that score. I think I could get close. Oh. I I Ben's pretty much done. I'm three. gonna call it I'm gonna call it Ben at six twenty two. Oh, oh, yeah. wow. I challenge anyone to dig me on. <laughs> ben at 622, Jim. I at could beat you at 617. No. He almost did it in half the time. No, no, no. And I didn't have dribble coming down my chin. <laughs> I do? Do I? <laughs> you know what the secret is? You have to bounce up and down and hum like a fucking yeah, retard. You were like you, you were like a monastic helping? zone. I was in the zone. Right I wasn't I was blocking everyone out. I was were getting, you really? I was getting into my That's zone. how he, he solves puzzles too. Right. He was in a rain man. <laughs> he does that same <laughs> movement. I almost, yeah, like I almost, 20, I almost 21, laughed 21. and puked four times at things that you were saying. <laughs> I eat, I eat with Jim a lot, you know, I and uh, I knew this was what was going to be the outcome. Yeah. Really? No, no, no. This is how he normally eats. He didn't even do anything this I, time. This I wasn't eat, special. I eat, it, I eat it slightly slower than that normally. I eat, it what, uh, I, I eat it the speed that Ben ate at. That would be my normal speed. He smokes cigarettes no, twice you, as fast you, as normal people, too. No, Jim, you eat oh, faster no. than Ben normally. Take, take the cigarette oh, joke sorry, out. Oh, sorry, sorry. My mother doesn't know I smoke again. Sorry, take it off. Sorry, she listens sorry. to the podcast. You know what I like is Farside's <laughs> still walking around without his shirt on. <laughs> Well, oxygen helps the wound, you know. No, but I do I do eat, like, as fast as what you eat normally. I don't know why Eddie even bet against me. We, we, we live together. I've seen you eat. I don't know why. Because I've seen bet. He eats volume of food, though. That's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, but I offered him a volume, volume competition. I wanted to do volume. Somehow it degraded into we were going to just do a teaser of the speed contest. And then all of a sudden bacon gets thrown in halfway through a sandwich. I just couldn't put it down. I felt like I was chewing chalk. I couldn't get through it. I could have done with more bacon. <laughs> See, that's the problem. That's the problem. We have different upbringings. And I'm telling you, the mayonnaise is meant to help. The, 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 the eaters always... Um, eat, Slicked it up. They eat mayonnaise before they go into yeah, the lines of stomach. Yeah, I was going to say, it like lubricates it. I never eat mayonnaise, so yeah. I can't do You've it. You've got to keep it soft, it, because it, that was... I could have done with a bit of water halfway through. Lana Turner ruined mm. mayonnaise for me. I've, ne I've, never done, about, I've never done, like, anything... Food just doesn't do it. But, it, like, I used to drink excessively, uh, where I would, like, try to see... I've done, like, all the clubs, like, the, the power hour and the fucking 24 beers in a day and yeah. all those things, where I vomited, where it feels like you just... Like, like you're fucking shooting gasoline out of a fucking hose. Yeah. I, I, I've had vomit coming out of my mouth that it can go, like, five feet, like, projectile vomited. And you, ever I, done a, you ever done an 85 very, heroin Johnson a month? That's a tough month. <laughs> It's very hard for me to vomit. I'm not much of a vomiter. Yeah, but have you ever, like, drank... I could eat another Subway right now. Oh, I could eat another one for sure. I'm not mm. phased. Mm. I just couldn't put it back speed-wise. And I'll tell you what, if you let me order it the way I want to order it, I'll beat you. Do you you know did. You got, so the, we got you a really turtle wanted, hair situation You just wanted here. turkey. I want a turkey. I tell you what, I tell you what, not only would I speed eat you another Subway sandwich yeah. right now if yeah. Jason can get there. I'll do it. Not only will I do it, but you get to choose exactly everything, on, it. everything on mine nice. and everything on yours. Nice, I love it. Call Deal. Call it. Call it in, dude. Tell him to get it ready. I love it. And yes. It but before you do, Jason, yes. give me the change. They close at 12. Yeah. What time is it now? It's a quarter to 12. Get on your bike, son. <laughs> quarter to 12. Get there, Jason. All right, call it in. Now, I... Uh, the who, only, are, who are you yelling to call it in? I, One it, of the interns what, maybe what, what get the got, number or order something? Do you like steak and meatball, right? All right, no one's participating. Yeah, I like meatballs, yeah. How you like tuna? That's right. I'm, I'm not a tuna guy. Fucking no, tuna is what I'm getting No, no, you can't give me something I don't like the taste yeah. of. You've got to use density. All right, all right. All right. Fair enough. Okay, ready? 
Yeah. Jason, are you ready for this? If you're seafood right, seafood crab for Jim. <laughs> seafood. Do you know what I just was snacking on today? What? I love that shit. Okay. I've got it in the really? fridge. Really? I can eat that fucking sitting but on my no head. But no tuna. But no tuna. Tuna. I, I don't mind that crab. That seafood delight. I uh -huh. eat that sometimes all by myself. You're not even scared. It would be me. harder for you to put down steak and cheese or, or the or the seafood delight. I think the hard the hardest ones would probably be meatballs, steak and cheese, or. Something like the chicken breast fillet one. Yeah. Chicken fillet delight. That one would be hard. That one would be hard. That's true. Let's do that one for Jim. I'm going to run up there. We're going to do you know chicken what? breast. Here, here, here. You know what? And while you do it. Huh? Here. Oh, hey. No, no, no. I'm getting the, the chicken breast delight one. Remember that one that you got me with the mayonnaise, yeah, yeah, the yeah, cheese, yeah. and the lettuce? Give me that one. Okay. Is it? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I order it, motherfucker. Oh, no, no. Okay. I order it. Okay, I get mayonnaise on it though. No, here's what we're doing. He's getting you steak and cheese. You can't make it taste disgusting. He's getting steak and cheese with. He's getting steak and cheese with mayonnaise and mustard and a lot of lettuce. All right, steak and okay. cheese with mayonnaise, Ernie, mustard, Ernie, this is and a lot of lettuce. lettuce. And here's mine. Ready? Do you want to add any tomatoes on there, bitch? You want tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'll give you tomatoes. <laughs> give him tomatoes too. A lot of lettuce on his. I feel like you guys are lettuce. playing poker. Okay. I got I got this round ready. Someone. And then <laughs> he's got this round. And then here we go. <laughs> here it happens. Five dollar footlongs. There's two fives. There you go. No, I'm kidding. Here's fifteen. I'm kidding. All I got is fifteen. Jason oh, goes, go. give me a twenty. You're okay. never getting change. I okay. give you fifteen. All right. And then mine. You ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for this? It needs to be precise. Ready? Okay. Foot long on white. Okay. Turkey. A lot of lettuce. Not too much. Just regular lettuce. Regular lettuce. I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. Regular lettuce, uh, bell peppers. I need fucking bell peppers. Okay, not too many, just light, light drizzle. And then I need oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, and one tomato. You know what? Okay, that's your order, right? That's your order. May I add that you got to choose whatever. You could have had a cheese sandwich. You said I have a protein, I thought, I, no? I didn't. All right. No, no, I'm no, joking. No, your order's already through. <laughs> your order's already through. <laughs> Wait, no, add one detail. Scoop the bread. They'll yep. scoop the bread. Let's Let scoop the bread. Scoop the bre no, you can't scoop the bread. <laughs> right, no, no, it's got to be the problem. All right, all right, all right. Here, I'm making the official rule. The rule give me is, a six, give me a six. Inch. The rule is, while you both eat, you're going to be watching the television, <laughs> and we are going to be playing a video of starving children in Africa. Oh, <laughs> how about how oh, about I, I will top that. <laughs> Gay porn. Oh my god. <laughs> now that'll make it easy for you. <laughs> yeah. No more Just shoveling things into my mouth. No more sneaking advantages in there right, for right. Jim's find, taste. Right, right. <laughs> find a video of starving children in Africa and they're gonna have to watch it while No, they no, eat. that's too messed up. Yeah, dude. No, no. Put, put, no, put no. something gross on it. Sorry, if you want. Ben, we're doing it. That's no. so messed up, no, dude. No, it's yeah. dude, I have a social conscience. You can't make me fucking eat a sandwich at a rapid rate while tearing money in front of starving children. This is, is we are gonna gain a pound each of this, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. No, it'll go away it's no 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 I, not in front of starving children no it's for reals don't <laughs> feed that's, the children that's fucked psa up. put it on no, a loop no put dude. it on a loop no put it on a loop put, no that's fucked up put it, no fuck no <laughs> put it on anything gross ben i'm weird. sorry i'm sorry it's my show ben you're doing this uh, oh my hang god hang on hang on i'm in the show title yeah, yeah. yeah. jeff the uh, we're Jeffries doing does this. not want it Oh, well, he wants it really? Oh. It'll make oh Jimmy eat more. Right. The, the only the only problem I'll have is t that I might stop and wank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love how Ben's trying to tell. Uh, you obviously haven't listened to our show. Well, that's uh, fine because this will put me in the zone. This will put me in the in the Rain Man zone. That's fine. All right. You knew, Wait, you knew after six months you were a, had a hot, good competitor, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I'm telling you, the steak and cheese would be easy to eat than the meatballs. The meatballs more substantial. That red sauce all through it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe no, no. Go with the go with the Africans. Let me talk about something other than Subway. Maybe you know, Sudanese. Until the sandwich Sudanese. Comes. Go for Sudanese. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Hungry children in Africa is the top. Oh, I'm just not gonna look at it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the best. That is so <laughs> wrong. Hit pause. Hit pause. Hit pause. Oh We're not gonna God. play it yet. <laughs> you are fucking. Why don't you, why don't you always have this in the background of your podcast? Why don't you encourage all your listeners to watch this while listening to every episode this, of your show? This is gonna be maybe not the funniest podcast we've ever done, but the funniest thing we've ever done in the room <laughs> is, is to make two men. Show. Sometimes we have porn stars. It's very exciting, but never had two men. Show. Shoveling food whilst watching 
starving children. <laughs> um, change, change it right now. I can't keep that up. Like, go to another tab. Oh, so now we, there's a line, Eddie? No, I just don't want to watch it until we have line. to. Till we I have got to have a piece. I'm going to have a glass of water okay. for this next and time. And also, I want and you to know, here's the deal. Well. While you're eating, if your eyes leave the screen... If you're not, you lose automatically. No, disqual- you no. have to look at your sandwich. No, no, no. You Autom- have to look at the sandwich. Ten seconds. Yeah, a- automatically oh, disqualification if you're not watching while you eat. Well, you, have to, you have to be able to look at your sandwich occasionally. You can look down, but no, like you got to keep your eyes on the screen. That's fucked you, up, dude. Yeah, well. I'll, I'll do it on behalf of the children in Africa starving <laughs> and encourage people to donate. Yeah, and okay, yeah. fucking power through. So donate. If, you, if, you, if you're listening to this episode and you're hearing what we're doing and <laughs> ben, just, it, show and Jen, ben just wants you to donate, donate to Jim and Eddie talk shit dot com. <laughs> Oh, my God. And we will buy food. They will to, forward the audition, the, the donations, I'm sure. <laughs> we will forward a clip of this to the children <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't have computers because <laughs> computers come after food. <laughs> drop it out of a plane, and it's like the gods must be crazy. You're like, what is this thing? We'll airdrop this it. Shiny disc falls out of the sky. We'll airdrop a DVD of Ben and Jim eating while watching the children in famine. <laughs> that, oh, is so wrong. That is hilarious, though, at the end. That's a good twist. I just want to tell a story quickly. Jason's just done a week's worth of work. Now, if you remember two months ago, he um, said that we'd be getting a Gordon Ramsay meal on this date because he's going to be flush with cash. But uh, on that day that he was meant to be giving me and Eddie a Gordon Ramsay meal, he was chopping wood on a farm. Now, the thing is... And not not sleeping in a... He was sleeping outside. He was sleeping outside in a field and chopping wood for a guy because he wouldn't let him into his house. (laughs) Now, so then Jason takes Duke along with him now, this is, we paid for Duke to go to the vets, but I think the real reason why Duke's happier is because it's living in a house now <laughs> and it had to run around on a farm. But every time that Jason takes it somewhere by itself, it gets more... Look how cheery. Hi, Duke. Well, he got bit by a German shepherd. Yeah, he got bit, yeah, didn't he? I let Jason watch, watch my dogs while I was in Toronto and Pittsburgh, and I called him and I said, how are the dogs? And he said, uh, he, I said, how's Noosa? And he goes, Noosa's happy. And I go, how's Harlow? And he goes, Harlow's always happy. You could drop Harlow out of a plane and she'd be happy till she hit. <laughs> she would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, I want predictions on this next one. I'm not I'm not I'm I'll bet I'll bet everything on Jim now. <laughs> I'll bet I'll bet my fucking mother's life on Jim now. <laughs> you let me down, Ben. I mean I'd, I yeah. No, but I have a much I, I thicker down, I have a honest. toasted sandwich with beef and like cheese. One. And tomatoes, and he has turkey and mayonnaise. Okay, now <laughs> no he, mayonnaise. And here's the thing: you ben, have no condiments, mustard. Oh, I told him to put mustard on it. No, no, you did, you did. Whatever. Ben, you, you also showed a weakness because your, Ben's not going to be able to be show. No ben, mustard. you showed your weakness. You're going to have a hard time watching the starving kids in Africa because you have a conscience. Jim has none of that. Right, no, right. I, I want you to splice some rape into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm That's going to be. Do you have a splicer on staff that can whip that up real quick? <laughs> this is giving Jim an appetite. <laughs> Jim just Jim just changed his order to all dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> Throw bones in there. Throw some bones in that thing. Crunch them through. I tell you what, see, fat people would be scarier for me because fat people would be like, I don't want to end up like that. I get depressed as I was eating, but this skinny. I be, you put a to beat it, domestic violence advert. Now this I could eat too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just I was, <laughs> no I was kidding. I was kidding. I was just in. Pit- all right, I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's step it up a, a bit. Two girls, one cup. No. 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 That's the one where they're eating shit. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, because it's going to take a couple... I have an iron stomach. How about we shit in our sandwiches? Here, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. How about how about one... You can take it crazy if you want to take it crazy. One guy. What's the fun in that? One guy, one cup. What? Oh, the guy where he cracks the bottle up his ass? Yeah. Please relax with these ideas. Um... Here's Fine, the deal. do it. Here's All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Roy gets to choose what's on the screen at any stage during the event. Yeah. Nice. But here's the deal, Roy. Have them all ready on separate tabs so they're just bam, bam, bam. And you guys have to pay attention while you're eating. Can I have a bucket for this? <laughs> I could. You know what he said? You understand Google's like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah. This is the first time that Google's gotten a virus. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever like shuts down the system. That's the code behind Google's algorithm. Is searching in a row, starving African children, dildos up ass with glass bottles. <laughs> 
Um, and domestic I, violence I might, need, crushes. I might need something if I'm watching this and eating, because I am a vomiter if I watch something. Jason's back. He just fucking came through the door. All right, like can, I, can I have a glass of water? Fast, can, I have a, can I have a glass of water? I'll need a glass. Wait. Oh, my God. Jason, when you talk on the show, it helps when you have a microphone. <laughs> Tell us what just happened on the way back. My chain fell off. And what happened the last time your chain fell My off? My sandwich better be okay. I went into the ground face first. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Jason, after he yelled at me and told me he was the golden goose of the I know, podcast. his chain came up and he smashed his car. Yeah. Here we smashed go, it. here we go. Here we go, here we go. Can I get my fat okay. guy who's we, bleeding next to me with we, the microphone again? Can we get Thank Duke you, out of here because I don't like Duke get watching me Nope. Hey, this way, right there. He doesn't want Duke to get jealous. Yeah. Duke was about to walk back to the farm. I believe he was about to go through plate glass. All right. No. Nobody, nobody, far side, that, that includes you. Nobody step on a wire while this is going on because we can't stop the contest. Jason. I you, just you. said that, and where's Jason right now? Jason, you have to step out of the way. That Jason, how many wires are you standing on? This is my microphone wire. Well, this is hot. Why did I get a hot one for? Okay. They both have their sandwiches. They're oh, on sandwich number down. two. What are the sandwiches, guys? I got a turkey, foot long, bell I pepper, have, lots of lettuce, tomatoes. I have their equivalent oh, of a... Plenty of tomatoes. I have their equivalent of a Philly cheesesteak with tomatoes, lettuce, and mustard and okay. mayonnaise. Wait, ben, there is, ben. There's no mustard at all on this. Is there mustard here in the house? Yeah, there probably is. I need mustard. mustard. I need mustard. See if there's Somebody mustard. grab some mustard. There's old English mustard. Put lots of that on it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the way I see it already, Ben. You have a weak stomach from watching African kids. Um, you, you're going to put mustard on, which is not as good a lubricant as what Jim has here. No, I still, donate no, to UNICEF, no, everybody. He, he, he selected all my toppings. Oh, I see. Thank you. And make sure it doesn't drip it. Yeah, the water drippy mustard. The, the, the beginning oh. of mustard that comes out is like pre cum. Yeah, I know it's the worst. It's like not really mustard. Jim doesn't have pre cum. still get you pregnant. We, yeah. you this yeah, I don't have pre cum. <laughs> yeah. That's probably uh, why I can eat so fast. Some condiments here. Okay, so. <laughs> oh. You know what I love? You guys are eating, and Farside has his shirt off. That should be That's enough. That's the worst, to- <laughs> man. That's what you're saying. <laughs> In an open wound. Farside just rubbed the microphone on his What's stomach. That? We're actually recreating the Nick Swartz and Sketch right now. We really are. 12 really minutes up before the other guy even finishes six. And, and Americans wonder why people hate them. This is... I'm doing this for Australia. <laughs> they don't do that. Second They're, fattest country in the oh, world. Okay. And Farsight's sitting you on my to, leg I'm now. Donating. <laughs> the okay. Go ahead, relax. I'm donating right. 200 oh, bucks to kids wait, wait, in Africa wait, wait, wait. next by tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Tomorrow. I need to get my phone ready. Okay, I got to get the timer ready. That's pretty good. The timer is ready. Wait, wait. Ray has oh. got... I'm excited. Ray has got the... Uh, the screen up. You guys both, you cannot look away from the screen. Oh, my God. Okay, you have to look at the screen. I'm nervous <clears> about <throat> the screen. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to read <laughs> what it says. <laughs> the title of the YouTube clip that they're going to be watching <laughs> while they're eating. Oh, my God. Crash compilation. Oh, fuck. In parentheses, broken bones. Oh and then says, warning, this video is extreme. Some examples can be drastically... <laughs> with a period after it. Yeah. <laughs> Fractures well, of the pain and uh, blood. I don't like this. I'd rather watch the stuff. On your Keep marks. On. Here we go. Get set and go. Okay. They are, uh, there's guys on skateboards like, oh, we switched straight to African kids. I like African kids. <laughs> there's a kid with ribs showing. Oh, there's, oh, that girl doesn't have an arm. Mm. Oh, my God. Um, now there's a little baby. Uh, now <laughs> we've switched to. My hump. There's some fat guy <laughs> dancing. Oh, some. Re- it looks like Far Side. Go back to the African children. Oh, poor little African kid. Jim is way far ahead already, and he's got his. Oh, now there's a little kid with flies all over him. Oh, now the crash compilation. If I win, I'm donating. Oh my God, that dude's arm's cut in half. He oh. fucking broke. Oh, it's broke. Oh, it's upsetting. Okay, go back to the African. Oh, oh my God. There's an African kid that his oh, hand looks like a bird's hand. Oh, oh, now it's back to my hump, my hump. And Jim has almost finished half a sandwich already. He's done. Oh, he is done with half. He's done with half. And Ben's Ben's doing better this time. Ben's doing better. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that leg. There's a kid oh. with a broken leg. Oh, oh the bone's just, oh, coming out compound. of his leg. <laughs> compound oh. fracture. And now we're back to the African distended oh, stomach children. God. Oh, he's all ribs and stomach. All ribs and stomach. Oh, now oh. a broken oh. 
<laughs> the broken legs are worse than the I'm average gonna kids. Throw, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That, 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 <laughs> I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Okay. This doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> His chips just eating away. Rain man and that shit down. <laughs> There's a fat kid pushing his boobs together and dancing my hump, my hump. Go back to the African kids. African kids. African kids. Oh, my God. Extreme poverty and hunger. Crash compilation. Oh, this oh! is the, the weightlifter. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, look at his arm. Oh, that's just, oh, it's just fucked up. His shoulder's wrong. <laughs> Go back to the African kids. Oh! African kids. African kids. Bro. Fucking skateboard falls isn't going to do it. Over one billion. Wait. Go back. I want to read that statistic while they're eating. Over one billion people, one in six people around the world live in extreme poverty defined as living on less than one dollar a day. We'd rip that dollar up for Jason. More than 800 million go hungry every day. A fucking Subway sandwich could feed them all. <laughs> Over 100 million primary school. Uh, go, go, go. Let's see some visuals. Let's see some visuals. Jim's going to throw up. You're going to eat all of it. Show some then. visuals. Oh, there's a poor Asian. Jim is almost done. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at Jim go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> pause. Pause on that. Pause on that. Jim's going to throw up. Mm. Pause on Pause on that one. Pause on that one. Mm. Go back. I think Jim's going to throw up. Pause. Pause. Just hit the screen, right? Keep looking, Jim. Keep looking. Ben, you can take him. You can take him. Jim. Oh, oh. His skull is even skinny. Oh, my God. The legs look like chicken wings. This is the most wrong thing. Look at the tits on his mother, though. Oh, you're never going to make it through this. Jim's going to throw up. He's shaking. Ben, you can take him. Ben, you're catching him. You're catching him. He's got to swallow. He's got to swallow. Look at that baby. He's, he's, oh, his tongue's coming out of his mouth. Oh, oh. Jim, can you do it? Can you make it? Ben, you just wanted two sandwiches. You could have just Jim, said, I want two sandwiches. Did it. You almost did it. But we are down to the... Jim's about to swallow what's in his mouth. And he's done. Woo! Jim just did it in 338. Oh. 338. That was a hot one, too. This is the second one. Look at him. And Ben almost took him. You almost got him. Don't go toasted. If I've learned anything, don't go toasted. Yeah, I told you. Toasting was a the bad idea. The bread's dry. The, meat, the warm Tears and toasted. That was harder. This is very difficult. <laughs> uh, let me ask you oh guys. Oh, my God. My heart hurts. What What was the worst part? Yeah, you're, you're, oh, my God. Was it the food or watching the African The indigestion children? I'm going to get. What about the African children? The, that one with the starving kids. I was crying. My eyes were watering. Like it was yeah. sad? Yeah. No, like upset. Like I wanted to puke. Like crying. I'm sad about the things I was saying while it was going on. But, <laughs> but I was trying to make you puke. How are you feeling, Ben? I've been better. I could do another foot, but if I'd have to take I my do time. another foot. I need I'd about to three minute time. rest. Yeah, yeah. Do another foot long. Twenty dollar foot uh, long. God, that was tough. I mean, I got to hand it to you because you were shaking. I thought you were, I had you on the ropes. <laughs> you had me on the ropes. I was going steady through. I wasn't getting affected but by I the did, video. I had I blocked did. out, and you were like having emotional experiences and still powering through the sandwich. There's you were crying. It was like a movie on your face, <laughs> and yet you still fucking. I beat didn't. I didn't look at you the whole time. The you, were, you were looking at me. You meant to look at the screen. I mean, no, I'm a couple glances, dude. And everybody's co commenting about the, your 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 focus. I, was, the broken leg almost made me vomit as well. Yeah, yeah. The broken leg was bad, but the oh. one time the African kid, I almost lost it. I was like, this is so wrong. But then I had to keep talking. $20. Oh, my God. Do you I'm, feel sick? I'm full. Full? Ben? No, I'm not full. I'm sleepy. I could eat more right now. <laughs> I mean, here, you want me to just, I mean, really, I'll, I'll, I'll bet. Give me whatever's in your fridge. I can keep eating right now. I'm just not super I quick. have a lot of food that's been there for a while. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That was our, our first ever uh, eating contest on the show. We've had drinking contests. You were just down to bread, were you? Not much, either. Yeah, he yeah. almost, he yeah. almost, you had him. I thought you were going to That puke. means the clock's still going on you, Ben. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, wow. that, that would hurt for real. I'm glad we didn't bet on yeah. this one. I, I got exercise. They got So how much, how much faster did I do, slower did I do this one? Like, uh, weren't you, I forget. Just there, seconds off. 10 seconds. 15 seconds off at what, the most. Well, was he three minutes on the last one? And then 3.30 on the second one or something? 3.38. 338. So one, I was like, one, I only one, slowed one. down by 15 odd seconds. Yeah. yeah with the I sped thing. up by a lot. Look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> you did. How's your jaw feel? No. Well, now I, I eat better with videos like that. <laughs> 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 Didn't you get upset by the Africans at one stage? Yeah. It was terrible. I know. There's such a plight. Oh. That's the worst thing we've ever done on the show.
No. I yeah. said. It's worse than making fun of the girl with cancer. No. It's worse than what we did with the Apple Sisters. It's worse than what we did with uh, Caden Cross. Not worse than what Ben did. I don't uh, know. I think we've done some pretty bad things in this show. Um, oh. Remember the time we made Jason always cry like we were just ripping into him for two episodes? We just we just had Farsad get a tattoo of our names on his back. <laughs> and we totally this is a room discounted for you. that one. This is a special room for I you I hate to guys. break it to you. Tattoos on the back, that is pretty fucked up. <laughs> Not on the same spectrum of fucked up as making us indulgently eat while watching starving African children. That's an <laughs> entirely different ball game <laughs> of, of level. I, I, now I don't want... I want people to time themselves eating a sandwich very fast, but I'd also like to see in the photo of you doing uh, starving Done, Africans on the TV. You... These are the photos we like sent to us, ones where you mimic us at home. Where you're eating, it's enough. Because I like the fact that there is some listener right now who's looked at his friend and gone, go get Subway. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the best sponsorship for Subway ever. Yeah. Yeah, could you see you know what the good thing is? I'm going to get thin <laughs> like that fat guy. <laughs> this, this, is gonna be the oh new, my God. this is going to be the new Subway challenge. <laughs> I, I reckon I could eat over the course of two hours. I could eat my height in Subway. All right. Here's over the, the course of two hours, I could do it. I think in over the course of two hours here's for sure. A, here's I could do hour and a half. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. And I'm, I'm taller. Do, you. I'm doing this. What, what, hold on. I'm doing Six this. To, I'm doing this to fix our karma. Uh, excuse me. I feel so badly about this that all week the donations that we take this week from this episode will go to Subway are <laughs> 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 to get more sandwiches so we can do this and send us any clips of African children you have starving. No, we're we're sending it to starving children in Africa. We're sending nice. the money. Nice. Are we? We have to. Yep. We're, we're gonna... no because they, no, we'll send half. No, all of it. And I'm and I'm donating two hundred bucks to starving children in Africa. Probably UNICEF if they still do things in Africa. You're sure supposed do. to all use right. ambiguous terms like right. a percentage of the pro, a percentage. You're supposed to say a percentage. Because then you don't have to declare how much you're giving. No, no, no we we're, can write it off in our taxes. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're donating. We will. We'll donate it all to the Africans. We're donating it. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm sleepy. This is how we should start every charity. It should just be like, we're going to do really fucked up shit. Like I'm helping out autistic people on Wednesday. Brad Williams rings me up, the dwarf, right? Rings me up, <laughs> rings me up and goes, oh, can you do a charity for some autistic kids with me? And I'm like, how many fucking disabilities do you cover? <laughs> you know, like how many things, like he's got his little fucking stumpy little dwarf foot. How many things have you got it in? <laughs> I... I went down and, and did a show one time that I was invited. Uh, Adam Hunter invited me to do this show for like a relative of his who has like a severe disability. And it was for all these. It was like for hundreds of kids that had severe disabilities. Is it Hunter's disease? What's that? Isn't that a disease? Hunter's? I don't know. Yeah. But I walked in and um, and Craig Robinson was doing it too. But when I, right when I walked in, Brad Williams was on stage and he was rocking that crowd. He was connecting to those, yeah. that crowd in the, in the most amazing way. Like, yeah. That was his niche, I feel like. Oh, yeah, yeah. The problem is a lot of his fans are dying. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a long lifespan. I did a show this week for Animal Friends, a uh, charity mm. event, and the uh, they, no one would fucking listen. They were all like, there was a cocktail party going on, and, and the comedian that went before me, no one listened. I got up, and I'm just yelling, is Michael Vick here? Is Michael <laughs> Vick anywhere? Michael Vick. Michael, and they were like, boo. I'm like, fuck off. You're not listening. No, I don't understand They listen at enough all. to boo. I think people who who support animal charities are like bad people. I'm one of them. Jim's really? one of them. No, this is, this will make any sense to me. No, I support all charities. I like animal charities, but how, I, I. But I, how I, does it make sense? I feel like Sarah McLaughlin hates people. All she gives a shit about is helping animals. Like on the priority list, how does animal ever land above whoa, whoa, wait, human not, beings? Wait, 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 hold on. You said okay. that, that they're bad people, but like, so hating people and loving animals? Because I'm in that category. Hating people and loving animals? Yeah, I, I have category. two charitable right. credit cards. One's yeah. for cancerous children and one's for animals. I was going to get both animals, but then I thought, no, one and then one for the other. Reason being is the one with the animals has a cute dog on it. Right. right. And you give that to a waitress to, in a check thing, all of a sudden you're the guy with a cute dog on it. Oh, yeah. Cancerous, oh, nice. the cancerous children don't look cute. But I'll tell you one that you should get. There's a credit card from Bank of America, and you can get this one up, Roy. Um, which I was going to get was for the Special Olympics, which just has a picture of a downy with gold medals on it. Now, <laughs> that, one, that, one, that one I just sort of wanted so I could laugh with Eddie occasionally at the picture. <laughs> there it is. There she is, second row. That's the credit card. 
You get that on your card all day. Oh, she's a sweetheart. I had <laughs> I, I had in Tampa last week. Uh, the shitheads that were there can attest to this. Uh, I was on stage and and about two minutes into my show, uh, I did a joke about Down syndrome. And uh, and I was uh, weirdly weirdly doing well, mm. and all of a sudden a guy yells out, "You suck!" And I go, "It wasn't about that joke, Eddie." And I go, uh, <laughs> "I go, uh, what, 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 which one? What it? What, and he goes, and I the, I didn't realize because I wasn't watching the feature act before me, and he did a lot of jokes about like Down syndrome, and then this was like the this, this is like, anti Down syndrome yeah, night here at the like, Funny Hut. This is like the needle and the haystack, and uh, or the needle or the fucking straw that broke the camel's back. I get up and I go, I'll tell you those down." He's could break a camel's back as well. <laughs> the guy fucking goes. They definitely can break your heart just by looking at you. <laughs> That's right. Okay, That's the right. guy goes. The guy goes. Uh, and they're I all go. great actors. They're all amazing actors. No, they're, down not, they're not that good. Oh, some of them are very no, good. There's been guys where I question their Down syndrome when I see them in a movie or something. I'm like, that guy's not that downy. No, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Corky. Corky went You're on. You're saying it's like, a makeup Chris job Burke. or what? You're saying it's a makeup job? Do you, do you, I right. say Corky. Jason yells out his name <laughs> like it's his favorite actor. I love Chris Burke. I'll he's he's got a musical career too. Yeah, it's fucking. Have you seen his band? <laughs> yes. Pull up his band. Never get it toasted. That's awesome. Pull up Chris Burke. <laughs> did it? Did it rob your gums and stuff? It was, too? Yeah, it was yeah. too raw. Never get it toasted. Can't believe I lost two in a row, man. There he is. There he is. Look, check out his band. Oh, I know this guy. It's Corky from Life Goes On, the most famous retard of all time. It, it's, um, his band's called Corky and the Eyes Wide Apart. <laughs> pull him up, pull him up. Let's hear it. Corky, Corky and the Unemployables. I put this on my page. And... <laughs> Forever friends. Yeah, it's not, it's not messed up to make fun of people with Down syndrome when you are more retarded than they are. He's got way more hits on his YouTube channel than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet he makes more money than us. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you believed in me, Jason. No, I, I did. I, onion heads I knew you were going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen you. Jason eat. believes in you and everything you do, Jim. Do he was he was right to. Do you believe in him? No. <laughs> Go down to the bottom of our website. We have some manginas down there. Are there any good comments? Hey, There's... can we show our friend here um, the pictures of the manginas that we have? I saw Eddie Live's mangina. Eddie's you live. haven't wait till you've seen Far Sides. <laughs> How do we get far sides mangina up there? That one's that that's one's... not a mangina. That's a dick. No, it's <laughs> that's a... Oh. I have a question, too, about this. I'm really concerned. We are putting nude shit on our website, and we don't have, a, like, an 18 thing. That... No, but we're not showing cocks. We're just showing manginas. That's hey, a cock right there. It, that, it's a banana. Because he knows Jim hates bananas. Remember when you did this? Hey, let me look at this one. Fuck you, Jason. <laughs> yeah. It's good to be he's, loved. And he's got two guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, who's this guy? Who we got to give him a shout out. Yeah, whoever you are. Um, that's terrifying. That, and it's not just like he's holding two handguns. You've got to go to the web page and see this guy. He's got an AR-15 in his right hand and it fucking looks like this a shotgun in his left. This guy's been to war. He he has he has his head shaved and he's got a I think he's had a shorn off shotgun or something. He was born with that written on his chest too. <laughs> the thing is, and he hasn't written on his chest. That's a tattoo. <laughs> and it's not even about our Jason. It's just another Jason who should be scared. Hey, you know what? I have a few friends called Jason. I'm getting that picture. And I'm just sending it to all of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a message out there. Hey, Ernie, how would you feel if that was uh, for you, buddy? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna get to find. I'm gonna Did that scare you? No, that's probably someone I'd hang out with, actually. You, you're not scared like that he's like a Mark Chapman type guy? That, that's pretty funny. A mangina with two guns. And you know what's better, the best thing about that? He had to get someone to take that photo. That wasn't <laughs> done in the mirror. Like, he convinced his spouse or his best mate, I'm going to write this on my chest, put my cock between my legs and hold two guns. Can you help me out? <laughs> and then the guy's like, what's this for? It's a podcast to listen to. <laughs> um... There was somebody. Somebody sent a picture of a of a porn star uh, blowing Mandingo, and they super they uh, superimposed or whatever fucking uh, uh, what's it called when you change on the computer when Photoshop. Uh, they photoshopped Lilith's face on it. Are you it, seeing this? And it looks it looks perfect. What is it a picture of? It's Lilith basically. It's Lilith in a porn scene. Maybe they found Lilith blowing Mandingo. Oh man. You don't go back from that. Here's what it says. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, he's terrifying. Here it is. It says, here's his name. Gary Ruvas, R-O-U-V-A-S. Gary Ruvas, I gotta give you credit, man. And Gary Ruvas said, hello, Jim and Eddie. Make sure Jason sees this. I want him to see. I want him to know. I want him to understand. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason just yelled I heard from the kitchen in case he didn't pick that up on a microphone. Uh, yeah, so the guy's completely naked with a mangina, and it says, fuck you, Jason, written on his chest, and he's holding, looks like a semi-automatic machine gun and a shotgun. Oh, my God, I could vomit. That would terrify no, I feel I feel strong. I could go third sandwich. I could go third sandwich. Is this where I win? Because if you're in vomit, Verge, I go third sandwich. I prove my my capacity. Yeah, but I only dropped off 10 seconds. I, I, I can do the next one in four minutes. I dropped four minutes from my time. You know what? I'm getting oh, faster Jason, and faster. Jason, can you get my frozen watermelon juice from the thing? We got, you we have freezer frozen from watermelon the freezer. juice? Yeah, yeah, we make it here. Uh, we we got a lot of uh, manginas, but we didn't get any. No, 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 no. I want you to I want you to ask whose mangina might that be. Oh, I'll tell you what. You've seen him put a tattoo on my 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 mic holder. Now if now yeah, put your thumb back up so that makes it more distinctive. That he oh my a, god! Yeah, he's got that weird thumb. That is proof. Email right there. email that to me right now, Ray. I'm gonna post this. Uh, I will post. Far side's mangina. Looks like a picture the of the moon right landing. Now. It's like, you know, like a CSI Why mystery got... they could solve with that thumb. Why does it turn into like a vagina on the middle there on top? Does it make any sense? We don't understand. When did it all go wrong? It's like a minute. <laughs> it's like a it's like a topographical nightmare to scale that thing. It's He's a, it's a situation. He's an interesting kid, that far side. He, How did, did you get this intern? We didn't ask him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he sent it he in. He just sent it he in. He sent it in. I emailed back, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he wrote back, I'm not just on the show, I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, he was already... I thought that's how you met him originally. No, we met him. He he applied for the job here. He's, 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 uh, <laughs> he's moonlighting at the Todd Glass... Uh, oh. podcast, and uh, we kind of stole him from Todd Glass. You're, you're going to stop working for Todd, right? Uh, I'm taking a 12-week minute, uh, twelve week break from the show, but I'm going to go back after that. Why 12-week break? Because school. Oh. Well, we want you to somehow go to Todd's show and show him your tattoo. Tell him this is what we do. We brand you. I'm, I'm filming, <laughs> a, I'm filming a, uh, a short with Todd in November, so I'll show him then, but I won't see him until then. Yeah. Uh. Does Todd have guests? Yeah, yeah, he has guests. Ask him if he'd be interested in having me as a guest, and then I'll, I'll, I'll reveal it while I'm on the show. You son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have me as a guest, say that you're friends with me, and I'll come down as a guest. Okay. I'll do it. God damn, I want to <laughs> Why? He'd find that funny. Yeah, no, he'll, he, uh, he'll probably won't enjoy the fact that he, I don't have a Todd Glass show. Tattoo. No, I just bet you ten bucks will be sporting two tattoos. I don't want to put you on the spot, you, but, but which gonna... which which show do you like better doing, ours or Todd's? Um. So so he put his hand over the microphone and pointed to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not, like, it's not like he could point at Todd. <laughs> Another question: Why are you gonna cover the microphone to point? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, if we get th if we get thirteen tattoos now, guess with thirteen tattoos, talking shit tattoos, are you gonna let us put that one? That one? Yeah. I don't know about that, yeah, that's dude. The rule. That's the rule. We'll the make rule. it small enough that you can cover it up with whatever tattoo you want to yeah. buy in the future. <laughs> with another ex-wife. Oh my God. Here's what I just realized. What What's great about this podcast is this is the kind of weird shit you do in your life when you're not being recorded. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I show you. And you never feel bad about it then. No, there's a couple <laughs> well, of them. Like, you, know what, you know what this podcast allows you to do? It allows you to, um, to actually experience what ifs. <laughs> you, know, totally. you, you can sit in a room and go, what if we got 10 guys? Totally. And it's like, well, that's not going to happen. But this might happen. <laughs> totally. There, are, there have been a couple podcasts where I've consulted attorneys afterwards to find out oh, yeah. if oh. we're like liable, oh. if Jim and I might go to jail. I didn't tell you this, Eddie. I just got myself sh um, some insurance for if I ever get sued. Harvey told me. 
told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because of this. Because, show. Of nat- because of nature, what I'm doing, and because I'm getting more successful, he says, you, You're going to need this. He didn't, <laughs> he, he didn't tell me that. You have nothing to be. <laughs> <laughs> I set you up to give me a good one there. Uh, I wasn't going to do it. I backed out. Uh-oh. Um, I'm going to start freezing watermelon no, juice no, but really we, soon. We did start this show. This show is owned by a, by a company. <laughs> so that if, the, <laughs> if, if anything goes wrong, the company goes under. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Don't tell them that. Oh, okay. Are we still on the podcast now? I don't know. No, we are. That's oh, nice. going to get deleted. Um, no, there was a time where Jim, Jim, oh, yeah. Jim admitted to running. No, you can't have all of it, no, but I'll fine. give you a bit. In the give me just a little bit. Jim admitted to running over yeah, an Aboriginal, maybe. and I admitted to running over a hooker on an episode, and I had to find out if the statute of limitations. Is that were, right? Yeah. So that really happened? Yeah. And is this going to be in the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Well, we already told it before. And yeah. That you hit an Aboriginal? He hit I an Aboriginal. Hit an Aboriginal. You hit I hit a hooker. hooker. I accidentally ran over an Aboriginal. I accidentally dragged a hooker down the street. No, you didn't. I swear to God. You With your didn't. car. With my car. They both lived. It what was country truck. was this in? Mine was in East It was in uh, East Liberty in Pittsburgh. And Jim, Jim's was in how, Australia. Really? Mine was in Pittsburgh as well. Wow. <laughs> how did the Aboriginal get there? What? They were allowed to travel. <laughs> <laughs> He was on holidays. <laughs> That's where all the abos go on holidays. The worst Pittsburgh. vacation of his life. Wow. I would try that. Oh, yeah, I'm trying. your fucking life, I'm telling you. Oh, man. You guys are like new best that friends. That is fucking yeah, great right there, buddy. They've, they, they've, bond, right. they've bonded they've over food. That is fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> we have no. the same body and the same food tastes. <laughs> what, is, what is happening here? Tequila and fucking watermelon juice. I'm drinking water. I mm. mean, uh, lime mm. Lemon juice and vodka. You can, you can buy it in two liter things at Whole Foods. What? Yeah. This is fucking phenomenal. Very popular. That's what they drink in Thailand, frozen water. Is that Do right? You realize how many yeah, that's major I got into brands it I was you plug every episode, guys? What? What's that? How many major brands you plug every episode? I plug things if I like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. I haven't plugged you. Hold on, I'm, I'm, doing, <laughs> I'm doing this on a tattoo book. I'm sorry, you don't want to Not for enough. lack of trying. After an eating competition, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect nightcap. Maybe when you get the big deal and you can get like a little freezer that you keep at the right temperature, you know? So kill yourself. Always Just perfect. kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Next to deep fried peanut butter uh, sandwiches. This thing's rejuvenating me so strong. I, th- I feel like Major. I could have two, three more sandwiches. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is just fucking phenomenal. Too, you gotta buy some now, eh? Oh, yes. Wait, that's Evolution Juice? Evolution. They, they sell little Let's bottles down the road. They sell like like the 1.5 liter ones. At Whole Foods. Whole Foods yeah. Oh, I'm fucking in, dude. <laughs> that sounds great. You keep it in in the freezer. No, well, I, you put it in the freezer for like an hour and a half, and yeah. you get to that consistency. You can just drink it as juice, as juice. But when it's and then you move fresh, it to the fridge, and will stay like that, or will it melt again? It's all about timing. <sighs> I'm trying to fucking get. What's the? I love how in that picture Jason's looking at the best set of tits, like he's ignoring the other yeah, ones. Yeah, totally. Lily, Lily, what's the app? Just the use? hotter girl in general. Yeah, Who's that girl on the left? Who's that girl I on the left? The app. Uh, what was Co- that? Gr- Courtney Kane. Who is that? Ponsa. Very hot. Mm. Flicker. Brunettes. I'm, I'm a brunette man for sure. I've jerked off to Courtney Kane like ten times now. Yeah, yeah she's okay. a she's a good egg. She's a dirty one in porn. Like, I used to have, I used like to have a TV girls. show for National Lampoon Network back in the day. And it was one day we were going to go to this hidden camera shoot, like a four-hour shoot we are supposed to do. And we go over to the, the, the director of photography's house, and he's like, I just got the Paris Hilton sex tape downloaded. You want to watch it for like a minute? We're like, all right, watch it real quick. Literally one hour and four minutes later, we were just stunned. <laughs> Jerking and off went all and over. And tried to go in. out to shoot and couldn't shoot, couldn't like focus. It was like seeing The Godfather. I, I don't think I've ever watched a porn movie from beginning to end. I have in sections, but not in one sitting. <laughs> Who does that, though? Hey, really? hey, hey, can you get in trouble for putting up, like, uh, fucking nude photos on uh, Doesn't Twitter? matter. I got insurance. Sue away. Huh? <laughs> if you were making a porn film and you really wanted people to see the plot, you wouldn't have to, you'd have to, like, intentionally not make it that hot till the very end. You'd have to like make it like very bad uh, rush I, sex. Uh, my my dad always ugly comes people. Out, he came out with this idea once that he said to me, he's like, you know what, you know what movies need? You have like a normal movie, and then like a porn scene in the middle, just like when they have sex. And my dad, I'm like going, that wouldn't work. That would work. I, no, it wouldn't though, because then it people becomes quit, a porn movie. Right. People, people quit, quit watching, watching the, the rest of the movie they, after they jerk off. My dad also thinks he invented the compilation album. He goes to me. He goes to me like this. He goes, I got this idea. 
<laughs> instead of just one band on an album, <laughs> you put all of these bands' best songs <laughs> onto one album. Did, didn't, didn't, right? did, and I'm there going, Dad, that's a compilation. <laughs> these, these albums already exist. He goes, not the songs that I like. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, yeah, I was just going to say, my mom is one of those urban legend people. Like, she'll tell you it and say it really happened or she'll send you an email or whatever. She told us this story about her hairdresser. The woman that does her hair is a grandmother, took her little kid to the, to the aviary, and they went and saw the penguins and all the fucking birds, and then they lost the kid, and they had to shut down the zoo or the aviary because they couldn't find the kid. And then they found him in the penguin pen. Mm. He found a door, and he went in, and then she took him home, and she was, like, yelling at him. She's like, you get up, and you get in the bathtub, and she... Put him in the bathtub. She went out to like get <laughs> towels. She came back and he's got a penguin in the bathtub. He smuggled one out in his backpack. So she tells me this story and she goes, my hairdresser told me this story like when I was having my hair done. And I'm like, this is the best story I've ever heard in my whole <laughs> life. My mom tells it so descriptively. She's telling about her hairdresser. I Google it and find out it's a fucking urban legend that started in Ireland and it's gone all over the world. So I was home just a week ago and I go, hey mom, here it is. I show it on the internet. My 75 year old mom, I go, this is a lie. This is a lie. And my mom's like, I'm getting my hair done this week. She's in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that if she came home, put him in the bathtub, and made him spend the rest of his life in the bathtub wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> well, this is, this is, this is How a, high are you? <laughs> this is an urban legend that I have a, a friend of mine. That would be hilarious. A friend of mine. throws ice on him. <laughs> He's more high than you. Oh, God. <laughs> Sits in a bathtub. <laughs> you should have smoked those sandwiches. You would have got through them quicker. He saw them. Jason's so happy. He's bonding now. He's like, Jim bonded over food. I'm bonding over laughing at dumb shit. There's our new best friend, Jim. There's a, there's a, there's Can you a... play boxing on PS3 and pinball too? That sounds fun. There's this urban legend that my friend always tells me that he sort of, I don't, I can't, he's not a comic, he's like, oh, you can use this on stage, right? Because <laughs> it actually happened and no one's using it and you can just say it happened to you. Yeah. And I kind of would, but it, it has the ring of, I don't think it happened, right? So he's at a party with a whole lot of guys and uh, one of the guys said, uh, said, I bet you can't fit a light bulb in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. So the guy puts his light bulb in his mouth. Now, what the things with light bulbs, the curvature of it, you can get it in, but you can't pull it back out because of the of your teeth and all that type of stuff. So it's easy to get in because <laughs> your lips can sort of moisten it out inwards and then they can't oh. outwards because you the teeth. Sure. So once a guy's got a light bulb in his mouth, he's all fucked. Just like the panic sets in because you can't put your teeth down and you've got glass that will shatter in your oh, mouth. Oh, damn. Right? Oh. So it's worse than the human centipede. Everyone's standing there <laughs> laughing at this guy, right? <laughs> they, they have to take him to the emergency room. So they call up a taxi. The taxi comes, they sit in the back of the cab, they're all laughing, and the taxi driver's like, what, what, why, why has that guy got a light bulb in his mouth? <laughs> and they all explain, well, once you get a light bulb, you put it in your mouth, you can't get it back out of your mouth, and the taxi driver laughs. They get to the emergency room, they go in, they make the guy lean forward, they, they put like just water rushing forward, and then they syringe it so it shatters and just falls out right away. And while they're in doing that, his mates are sitting in the waiting room, and the taxi driver walks in with a light bulb in his mouth. <laughs> I hope it's a true story, but Google, Google, it. Google, yeah. it. Google, light bulb taxi driver. Yeah, I'll bet it's a it's an urban legend. It's it might be. I hope it's not. How how does, how does the internet know if it's if it's true or not? If someone the story of the light bulb. <laughs> yeah. The taxi driver's eyes glisten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that bloke's being told off. He's a fucking liar. <laughs> I hate when somebody tries to pass a, a, an urban legend to you. And, and the fact that they do it with such conviction, it's like you just you have no problem fucking doing this to you. Well, what probably happened is in that story, someone did put a light bulb in their mouth and that type of stuff. And then they, they would have gone to the hospital, tried to get it out. And then there is somebody that would have just said, wouldn't it be funny if that taxi driver walked in now with a light bulb in his mouth? And they all pissed themselves laughing, and then that's what the story became, and then it became other people's individual stories.
Because I did stick my dick in a Poland Spring water bottle, just the tip, and it did give me that infection that made my dick look like a catfish. What? I've told that story on here. No. <laughs> I swear I've told the story. Yeah, look, they're all telling me I've told oh, the story. Right, He's told the done. story about a Poland Spring bottle? Yeah, it was, it was a Poland Spring water bottle that I was Fairbanks. pissing in. Fairbanks. Yeah. Oh, was Fairbanks on when I told it? When he pissed in the bottles? Oh, yeah, that's the story. Oh, it's fair. Fairbanks was the guy. Okay. Why did your cock look like a catfish? I, when I went to piss afterwards, like I went, I was on my way to a gig and I pissed in it on like, cause there was, I couldn't get to the gig and I was in the car mm. and I had to pinch it off to, to, to like pour it out and then fill it up again. Wow. Can't you just hold your piss? No, not when it's fucking, you got to piss that. He back. had to empty the bottle and to make room. Yeah, I but mean, I, I can stop midstream. But what, how not, many, not like that. it hurts. I don't take, I don't do those kego exercises. All right, like I'll, 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 um, I'll. Battle you on that one. You can't stop midstream. Not, not, not like, I didn't want it to drip all over me. Okay, no, so it was, a, it was a choice. So I, not, oh, not I got an ability. I, I got a good it. pissing story. I pinched the <laughs> urethra. Oh, it's a Ben's good one. got a pissing well, story. So I pinched the urethra, but then I poured it out. Then, when I put my dick back in, it, like two hours later, I went to piss, and the opening of the urethra swelled <laughs> up and opened that it looked like the lips of a catfish. <sighs> Oh, the fuck yeah. was in that bottle? Oh. I don't know. And My the doctor, every dust doc on bottle. Every doctor went like this. They're like, I don't know what the fuck that is. You and know, what, like, you, you know, it's great. There's someone behind a glory hole who's telling a story about a guy with a cock that looked like a catfish. <laughs> 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 All right, um, what's your pissy story? All right, well, I'll give you a quick two second teaser before the good one. Ooh. The two second teaser was one time I was just in the drive and I had to pee real fucking bad. It was a long drive. I didn't. Want to stop her? I couldn't stop her. Some shit. So, I had a Snapple bottle because that was what I needed. It's the only one with like a wide enough. Yeah, sure. They got, a, they, got a, they got a good hole for pissing. Yeah, a good, great hole for pissing. And I'm pissing, and it's fantastic until eight seconds in. I realized this is gonna fill up way too quick, and I just it just started peeing everywhere. I couldn't <laughs> stop it. It's just it's like a cascading waterfall around the Snapple <laughs> bottle, all over my pants on the seat. Well, you're lucky you didn't pinch it off. Right, exactly. So it's true. I, I avoided catfish scenario, that's for sure. <laughs> my, my, my brother once, the three of us were in a car driving to Queensland, and my, brother, my dad was, he's all about making time. You know, if you're doing good time, there's nothing stopping him if we're doing good time. Yeah, sure. And my brother said, I need, I need to piss. I need to piss. He's about eight sitting in the middle, and, and, my, and mum and dad's going, you're not pissing. We are told to go before. You have to wait another couple. I need to do it now. <laughs> we're making good time. We're making good time. <laughs> Scott's sitting in the middle. He pissed over the center console onto the gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're going to get another call. Oh, <laughs> oh my other one. I think he oh, likes wait, that story. Go ahead. I stopped to visit my friend Kevin on the way to Toronto. From Pittsburgh to Toronto, I stopped. He lives in a farm, and uh, he, he's crazy. He lives out in this fucking weird farm, and he's got all these little kids now. And uh, he, he showed me all around the farm, and his daughter had to pee. She's like, Daddy, I got to pee. And he lifted her up and held her under her legs and uh, and just had her lean her back against him. And he's just, like, holding her off the ground while she's just peeing on the ground. And, mm. like, and I'm just like, and he goes, ah, this is what happens when you live on a farm. This is, you know, you don't have to go to the toilet. And then he just lifts her up, puts his leg out, and he's got jeans on, and he just wipes her <laughs> with, with the thigh of his jean. And I'm like, did I just fucking witness that? Yeah, that, see, the bit is, I'm sure you're grossed out because the jeans were covered in piss. I'm more grossed out that the thigh that no one knows where that's Yeah, no, I was thinking that he probably wiped. Covered in farmland, he's being wiped he's into like his daughter's vagina. He's like working on a tractor, wipes his fucking <laughs> pants and like rubs that oil up in his it's little fucking kid's stuff. Oh. Yeah. All right, your next piss story. The other piss story was I was driving one time when I was like 23 years old to a gig that was really far away and my dad loaned me, my car was having problems, so he loaned me his pristine, beautiful Cadillac. Mm. And he's like, take like really good care of this car. Like, don't, don't fuck with anything. Don't eat in it. Like, the whole low long speech, you know, all this shit. So, like um, Ferris Bueller. Right. It was like, seriously, dad's car, you know, very, it was kept in wonderful shape. Leather interior, beautiful situation. Rugs in the bottom. P perfect. And so I'm driving about an hour and a half, two hours into this drive. I just have to piss so fucking bad. And it's super late at night. It's like three in the morning. And there's mm. nothing open in the middle of nowhere. And finally, I see like a far light and I finally get to it. And it's like a it's a closed Del Taco. Mm. So I can't get into the restroom. So it's fine. It's late at night. I'm just going to pee in the bushes. So I quickly pull into a parking spot, get out of the car, door still open. And I start to pee into the bushes. And I look to the right because I noticed the car is still in drive. 
and is now heading <laughs> towards the bush, about to go down into a ravine, back onto the road I just came from. So I have a split second to the side. Do I fucking finish peeing? Like, let it roll for 15 seconds? Because I can't stop this or just stop the car. And I'm like, I got to stop the car. And I couldn't stop the stream. I just turn and start peeing all over my dad's dashboard and carpets and, and <laughs> steering column and everything as I put it in park and finally get out of the car and finish peeing. And the car was soaked and smelled like urine for did, like did you dad, weeks. What, what did your dad do? I never told my clean. No, it wasn't for weeks. I cleaned it like really good on the way back home and like stopped at a gas station, bought supplies and sprayed it up. And he never knew. Anybody here ever jerk off in a car while yeah, driving? Of course. Fucking today. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drive cars for Volvo. Uh, my friends own a Volvo dealership, and I would pick up one car in one dealership and drive it to the next. It was called Dealer Trade, where you, <laughs> you, you drive one, and then you pick up another one and bring it back. Mm. Like That's how they get the cars they want. Yeah. And, uh, and I was so bored. I used to jerk off in every one, and they had, these, <laughs> they had these pl those plastic over the seats. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> fucking drop it on the plastic. What? <laughs> you do it every time. Every trip. Oh, and then, I, I've done and it. And always Eddie would show up and they'd be like, Eddie, again, where's the plastic? I've done it. I've, <laughs> what the fuck? I've done it like five times I was driving. I was once, and I don't like this, and girls think they're being really risky. I don't like the blowjob while you're driving. I'm not into it. I'd rather focus I used on to my get driving. back in the dating days. Well, shut up. You did not. Yeah. yeah, so I was getting one once, and uh, it's all right because none of the cars can see you because you're all on the same level, right? Until I stopped at the lights... <coughs> school bus of kids oh. right and one of them spotted and they all look down and then you have to make the decision do you pull the girl off to show your saliva covered cock or do you leave the head there I'd leave the head there I'd leave the head there and give them a wave <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'd give them the finger you gotta own it you gotta own these things <laughs> <laughs> yeah in prison <laughs> what, one time uh, I was receiving a, a blowjob in a car and uh, wasn't driving, though. And then somebody that I knew was walking by, and I did not want this person for certain reasons to see this. So I literally had my split-second decision was I said to her, just stay down. <laughs> I just pushed her further down, and we're just like... She and, was probably like <laughs> and the guy starts, like, meandering, pulls his cell phone out. He's, like, looking at shit. It was a good 20 seconds, 25 I, seconds I, past. I, uh, there was, uh, there was a, this is a bit of a silly, fine silly it, story, but it was kind of funny. I had a mate who has since passed, but when we were kids, I had a mate who was very, very good at mooning from the school bus. Mm. Showing his ass from the school bus was his specialty that you could... He was you, one of the best. Yeah, you could get him to do it at any time. We're driving. He's a few rows back. I'm sitting in the back seat of the car. I see his mum right? <laughs> in, in the car behind us. She's driving in the car <laughs> behind us for the shops or anyone. And I ask him, I go, come on, do one. We all do it. He gets up there, pulls his ass, shoves it against the window, turns around to give the look, sees it's his mum, and he falls forward like he's a bike rack. <laughs> like his ass in the air. And he's, yeah, it's not that funny a punchline. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, do you wank off the base of a cock or the head of the cock? Uh, the head. Yeah. yeah. Just, that's what you got to remember. A gay guy told me that, so that's why I do it. A gay like guy that. told you I that. I swear to God, I asked him how to give good head, and he drew me a diagram. It was back in the day. Anyway, but talking about <laughs> masturbating in cars, back when gay I could used draw? to do that, like, before, excuse me? You said, you said back in the day, like, like gay people can't draw pictures of cocks anymore. <laughs> I'm saying it in my The head. hardest problem for the gays these days, they just get, can't get, draw get, like get they used to. Get your jerk off yeah. story, Lily. You, you, okay. you fish so too much, your hands get arthritic. <laughs> there's two experiences. Well, oh, they stay with, cool in there, though. It's like a cavern. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, come on, Lily, come on. All right, uh, one... I mean, I would often, I would ha I had the little bullet thing that's like a travel masturbating yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. So I would take that with me. And um, when I was in grad school, I was working full time and going to grad school all the time. So I was like really stressed out. And the one thing that relieves all that stress is masturbating. So every time before mm. uh, an exam or um, a paper or whatever, if I had something due, I'd like pull over like two blocks away from school, masturbate in my car and then go in into class. Like, so it'll relax I me. masturbate on long and flights. When? On your flights? On long flights. I go to the oh, toilet just to break funny. I used to break ways and, But my favorite experience of that, though, is like after class one day, I was just like really horny and I was driving home and I was listening to Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, mm. and then just let myself you know, go it's really to the funny, music. Lily? <laughs> <That was Jason. laughs> like, was, you know, like I still dream of that. You like, know, it was great. Lily, Lily, you know what's really funny? Jason told me he used to follow you to school. <laughs> 
jerk off behind you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to only need, just right. <laughs> All right, yeah. Masturbate on flights in the airplane or in the or in your in, seat? In the airplane. In, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I chuck yeah, one out yeah, in the bathroom. It's the half mile club. Because I wake up with an erection, like on long flights in the 40 hour, and I wake up with an erection and go, I'll just sort this out so I can go back to sleep. And I go in there, <laughs> whack it off, and it's the only time I don't need porn because I think because of the danger. Of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the only time I don't need porn. Risk. Yeah, oh, yeah, love it. I just uh, pray that the bathroom hasn't been blown up right before. I, I always clean it up pretty well. Like I got toilet paper all over that thing. Are you a mile? High? Are you in the mile high? Are you a mile high? Like yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm, 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 I've, tr- I've tried. I've tried, but there's not enough room to enjoy yourself in there. I've had a girl like wank me up and not to completion on the in the seat, but that doesn't count. Does that's it? fun. That's bad. I, that's like I, out in public. I yeah. went. I went skinny dipping one time in North Carolina at some condo complex with some chick I met at a party, and we ended up fucking on the deck of the pool. And uh, while I was fucking her, as soon as I finished, I didn't realize like I was on top. I rolled over to lie there after I came, and there's all these people up above on the balconies, <laughs> and they're all applauding. <laughs> Everyone was clapping, and I was like, "Because you did the pile driver." But, but here's the best: <laughs> we went with we went like a, a bunch of people to the pool. We were all skinny dipping, and she and I started hooking up in the pool. They left and took our clothes. So mm. we're completely naked. They've taken all their clothes, and she and I are lying there naked, and everybody's clapping. So I have to like scramble around, and I find a couple towels. So I give her the towel, I take the towel, and we start walking down the beach because now my friends have left with the car, and we have to walk, like, a couple miles back to our place. And so she just starts bitching and bitching. I go, well, fucking wait here. I'll come back and get you. And uh, <laughs> What a gentleman. Eddie. Wait here, Eddie. Wait here, Eddie. You're not going back, did you? You're going to go back. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Wait here, yeah. naked, yeah. alone on the beach. He's told that Everything to me. Everything will be know. fine. I'm out alone down in San Diego, naked on the beach. Hold on, I'll be right back. You're yelling yeah. at her. Just wait here, naked on the beach. So, so okay, so a- end of story. <laughs> <laughs> he does this to everyone. <laughs> no, I, I got my friend's Jeep and I drove back. And where she was sitting on the beach, <laughs> she she was pretty drunk, obviously. You should have buried her. <laughs> to her head. <laughs> so at least she'd be covered. She was gone. <laughs> she was gone. I told my friend, I go, no, she was sitting right here. And he goes, holy <laughs> fuck, the tides come up. He goes, and my friend literally goes like this. He goes, you better think of an alibi. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be dobbing you in on that one. <laughs> Dead woman on a beach? Fuck <sighs> me. She ended up back at the house later. She would have been she, filled with your wait, wait, cum and dead. She, she ended up back at the house later, and she was so drunk. She's like, which one of you guys did I just fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, she blocked out the two-mile naked beach <laughs> run? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that I, is pretty drunk. I always hear these. St- my school life wasn't like that. I always hear about the girl that sucked off every guy at the party. My school was fairly conservative. There was really? a chick doing that at my school. No. We, had a, we had a girl that fucked everyone in our school and got it gave them all gonorrhea. Like, everyone got it. Did you go to your school? I never fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> I never fucked her. And, uh, and, so how, how ugly a child were you that she fucked everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're running out of time. we got to end the show. Everyone's got to go. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, please keep donating. Uh, to take care of Skank Tees. They, they've taken care of us. Go to our email, Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. Next week, we're taking calls, 310-853-3879, 310-853-3879. Go to our website, Jim and Eddie Talk Shit.com. From there, you can go to our Facebook, our YouTube, our Twitter. Go to Stitcher. Stitcher, when you bitch about iTunes and you bitch about every other place getting the show that you can't get it, you can always get it on Stitcher. And I swear, I'm not saying this, they're not paying us, but they should pay us, but it is the best fucking place to get our show. Go to Stitcher. Download Jim and Eddie, talk shit, and uh, thanks for listening. Thank you most of all, Ben Glebe, for being our guest. My pleasure, brother. Uh, uh, thank you, Neil. Is from Venice Tattoo and Piercing. That's on uh, uh, 1017 Oceanfront Walk. Come see Neil. Uh, he did a fucking amazing job. Everybody, round yeah, it's a really good Neil. tattoo. Yeah. That was an amazing tattoo. And make sure you ask for Neil when you get there. Tattooed by Neil. Yeah. Um, so uh, check them out, and uh, thanks for everybody else for being here, doing the show, doing your jobs. Oh, Ben Gleave, you got fucking plugs. What do you got? Oh, uh, I will be uh, at the Palms in Vegas in November, at the Funny Farm in Atlanta in December, and uh, 
uh, just plug, playing clubs in LA, go to BenGlebe.com or at BenGlebe Twitter. Ben Glebe, how do you spell it? G-L-E-I-B. Girls love every inch, baby. All right. Thank you, guys. Go fuck yourself. Okay.